So welcome, this is May June 2010, CAIE, paper 61. So statistics, we shall try to solve the question. There are something around seven questions. So the first question, the probability distribution of the discrete random variable X is shown in the table. Given that expected value of X is 0.75, find the values of A and B. So we know that sum of all probabilities is equal to one. So A plus B plus 0.15, plus 0.4 should be equal to 1. So A plus B plus 0.55 is equal to 1. From there, I get A plus B is equal to 1 minus 0 0.55. 1 minus 0 0.55 is 0 0.45. So A plus B is equal to 0 0.45. That is the first equation I get. Now coming to the second equation, we know that expected value is 0 0.75. So expected value means sigma xpx should be equal to 0 0.75. So minus 3a minus 1b plus 0 times 0 0.15 plus 4 times 0 0.4 should be equal to 0 0.75. So this should be giving me minus 3a minus b plus 1.6 is equal to 0 0.75. So negative 3a negative b is equal to negative 0 0.75 0 0.75 minus 1.6. So I get negative 3a, negative b is equal to take the calculator and uh, find the values of this one. So we pull out the calculator app. So we clear it off everything. 0 0.75 minus 1.6. So that should be giving me the answer minus 0 0.85. So I get minus 0 0.85. So I got two equations. We shall try to solve those two equations. So it becomes a plus b is equal to 0 0.45. <coughs> minus 3a minus b is equal to minus 0 0.85. Add these two equations. b and b gets cancelled. Negative 2a is equal to 0 0.4. Negative 0 0.4. From that a is equal to 0 0.2 plug in a as 0 0.2 0 0.2 plus b is equal to 0 0.45 so b is equal to 0 0.25 so the what are the values of a and b 0 0.2 and 0 0.25 coming to the second question the number of people traveling on a certain bus at a different times of a day are as follows draw a stem and leaf diagram to illustrate the information given below we can see that they are single digit numbers, numbers in tens, numbers is in twenties, thirties, that's it. So my stem will become 0, 1, 2, and 3. So I keep on writing it out first. The numbers 17, 5, 2. 17, 5, 2. 23, 16, 31, 23, 16, 31, 8, 22, 14, 8, 22, 14, 14, it's not 34, so 14, 25, 35, 17, 25, 35, 17, 27, 12, 6, 27, 12, 6, 23, 19, 21, 23, 19, 21, 23, 8, 26, 23, 8, 26. So these are the numbers that we have written via stem and leaf diagram, but we need to write it in an order. So I bring it down small and create a new stem. 1, 2, 3, and write in order. So it becomes 2, 5, 6, 8, 8, 2, 5, 6, 8, 8, then with 1 it will be 2, 4, 6, 7, 7, 9 and it, with 2 it will be 2, 3 or 1. We have 1, 2, 3, 3 times 3 then 5, 6, 7, 5, 6, 7 and with 3, 1 and 5. So 5 numbers with zeros and 5 six numbers with one and uh, eight numbers with two and two numbers with three don't forget to write the key key one slash two represents 12 people 
find the median in the lower quartile and upper quartile of the and the interquartile range so we need to check how many people are there first of all let me erase it out there are how many people one two three four five six seven seven times three twenty one people are there so total n is equal to 21 so which is an odd number so for the median I want the middle number which is q2 which is 21 plus 1 divided by 2 so 11th term so 11th term is going to be the median so which is the 11th term 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 so 19 so median is going to be q2 is equal to be 19 this is the median so there are 10 terms over here and there are 10 terms to the left side and right side 10 terms now the middle value of these 10 terms is going to be the q1 so as there are 10 terms so what am i going to do it out i divide 10 divided by 2 i get it out 5 so average of fifth term and sixth term by 2 is going to be my q1 so the fifth term and the sixth term so 1 2 3 4 5 fifth term and sixth term so which is 8 and 12 8 and 12 divided by 2 20 divided by 2 so my q1 is going to be nothing but what 10 then similarly here i have 10 10 divided by 2 is 5 so average of fifth term and sixth term is going to be the q3 from where from 19 from 19 the, the fifth term and sixth term 1 2 3 4 5 6 23 and 25 so 23 plus 25 divided by 2 which is 48 by 2 24 so my q1 is 10 and q3 is 24 what is being asked we have found the median we have found the lower quartile upper quartile interquartile range interquartile range means what does that mean q3 minus q1 so iqr is equal to q3 minus q1 which is 24 minus 10 which is equal to 14 state in this case which of the median and mode is preferable as a measure of central tendency and why so any time which is most preferable median is most preferable why median is most preferable because as uh, mode is just a uh, mode can be duplicated mode is any number which can be duplicated which is duplicated rather than mode is any number which is duplicated more than twice that is the reason we prefer to go for median coming to question number three a random variable x is the length of time in minutes that Janan takes to mend a bicycle puncture x has a normal distribution with the mean mu and a variance sigma square it is given that probability of x greater than 30 is equal to 0 0.140 probability of x greater than 30 is equal to 0 0.1480 so convert x into z z greater than 30 minus mu upon sigma is equal to 0 0.1480 so <clears throat> greater than to lesser than means 1 minus probability of z less than 30 minus mu upon sigma is equal to 0 0.1480 bring that one to the other side so 30 minus mu upon sigma is equal to 1 minus 0. 0 0.1480 so I get probability of z less than 30 minus mu upon sigma is equal to I check it out the value from the calculator one minus 0 0.1480 this should be giving me the answer 0 
use this normal distribution table and get this value of 0 0.852 so it should be something around 1.045 from the normal distribution table I got this one so 30 minus mu is equal to 1.045 sigma leave this one over here then another part is given what is other part has been given probability of x greater than 20.9 is equal to 0.6228 greater than 20.9 probability of x greater than 20.9 is equal to 0.6228 convert greater than to z to x x to z 20.9 minus mu upon sigma is equal to 0 0.6228 then convert greater than to lesser than 1 minus 20.9 minus mu upon sigma is equal to 0 0.6228 so probability of z less than 20.9 minus mu upon sigma is equal to 1 minus 0 0.6228 this should be giving me the answer 0 0.3772 now use the value 0 0.3772 is not there in the table so what am i going to do see carefully i am going to swap this one probability of z less than mu minus 20.9 upon sigma then 1 minus 0 0.3772 is 0 0.6228 so whenever it is not there in the table because the table starts with 0 0.5 it is less than 0 0.5 so i subtract from 1 so here you can see that whenever this value 0 0.3772 is less than 0 0.5 what I have done it out I have swapped these numbers 20.9 minus mu becomes mu minus 20.9 and I subtracted from 1 1 minus 0 0.3772 is 0 0.6228 so that that value will be there in the table then check from the table its value will be 0 0.313 so I get an equation so I got those two equations I solved those two equations <coughs> and get the value of sigma as 6.7 now i can plug in this sigma value in any one of the equations so i substitute in the second equation 30 minus mu 6.7 is equal to 1.045 mu value mu value is 6.7 so 30 minus mu is equal to 1.045 sigma value sigma value is equal to 6.7 from there i can get the value of mu as 23.0 that's going to be the answer for question number three coming to question number four the rights taken by two students fee and grimy at a fairground are shown in the following table the mean cost of fee rates are 2.5 and the standard deviation of the cost of fee rates are zero the standard deviation is zero explain how can you tell the roller coaster ride and what does ride each cost this much so now standard deviation is equal to zero what does it standard deviation is equal to zero means all rights are costing the same all rights do cost same so now we can see the revolving drum is zero so there are only roller coaster slide and water slides so the cost of water slide also will be nothing but what do cost 2.5 dollars so the cost of water slide is also 2.5 but revolving drum is zero right she has taken so therefore we don't know now because standard deviation is zero means there is no deviation that's the reason all the costs are same the mean cost of Grammy's rights is 3.76 find the standard deviation of the cost of the Grammy's rights so so the mean so one times the cost of uh, roller coaster is 2.5 and there are three water slides three times 2.5 and there are six revolving drums and we don't know the cost of revolving drum is x let it be upon 10 should be equal to nothing but what 3.76 from that 2.5 plus 7.5 plus 6x is equal to 37.6 so 10 plus 6x is equal to 37.6 so from there 6x is equal to 27.6 x is equal to 27.6 divided by 6 which should be equal to 4.6 so cost of revolving drum is 4.6 what has in been asked find the standard deviation standard deviation means square root of 2.5 square times 1 plus 2.5 square times 3 plus the cost of 
the last one revolving drum is 4.6 and there are 6 1 4.6 squared times 6 upon 10 minus mean square 3.76 whole square you can do this by calculator and get the answer as 1.03 <coughs> that's going to be answer for question number four question number five in, uh, in the holidays, Martin spends 25% of the day playing computer games. Martin friend phones him once a day and random at a randomly chosen time. Find the probability that in one holiday period of 8 days, there are exactly 2 days which Martin is playing computer games while his friend phones. So probability of playing phone or playing games is 0 0.25 which is P. Probability of not playing while the friend is giving a call will be 1 minus 0 0.25 which is 0 0.75 which is Q. Now out of 8 days, 8 days exactly 2 days he has to be playing it out. So success is going to be 2 days and the failure should be remaining 6 days. So simplify this by calculator you should be able to get 0 0.311. Another holiday period lasts for 12 days. State with the reason whether it is appropriate to use a normal approximation to find the probability that there are fewer than 7 days on which Martin playing computer games when his phone rings, when his friend phones. So n is equal to nothing but what? 12 and p equal to nothing but what? 0 0.25. So I find np which is 12 times 0 0.25 which is going to be nothing but what? 3 which is 3, which is less than 5. So NP should be less than 5. If NP is less than 5, we say that it is not possible. NP is less than 5, we say that it is not possible to use this normal approximation. It should be always greater than 5. Find the probability that there are at least 13 days of a 40-day holiday period on which Martin playing computer game when his friend phones up. So, so what am I going to do again? I am going to take the value of n. n is going to be 40. p value is equal to 0 0.25. We find np which is 40 times 0 0.25. We can see that it is 10 which is greater than 5. Right? So it should be always greater than 5. So I find it out the variance. Variance is nothing but what npq. So 40 times 0 0.25 times 0 0.75. I'm directly writing the answer. This answer will be 7.5. Now he's asking of at least 3. So probability of x greater than or equal to 13. At least 13. So greater than or equal to 13. So it is converting binomial to normal distribution. So I draw one uh, binomial for example. This is 13, this is 12, this is 14. So 13 starts from 12.5 to 13.5. So we want greater than or equal to 13. So greater than or equal to 13 means this entire region. So it starts from 12.5. So probability of x, z greater than or equal to 12.5 minus mean. Mean we have just calculated it as 10 divided by Variance. Variance is square. Standard deviation is square root of 7.5. So we got variance as 7.5. Standard deviation is square root of 7.5. So probability of z greater than or equal to 0 0.913. Do by calculator. Greater than to the lesser than means 1 minus 0. Z less than 0 0.913. So which is 1 minus 0 0.8194. Simplify 0 0.181. This is going to be the answer. <coughs> Coming to question number 6, find the number of different ways that a set of 10 different mugs can be shared between Lucy and Monica if each receives odd number of mugs. Lucy, Monica, they are receiving odd number of mugs. So how many out of total 10? So if Lucy receives 1, Monica obviously receives 9. If Lucy receives two, 3, Monica receives 7. If Lucy receives 5, Monica receives 5. If Lucy receives 7, Monica receives 3. And if Lucy receives 9, obviously the Monica will receive 1. So if you consider about the Lucy's receiving of the cups, it's automatically understood that Monica's cups are also being taken care of. So what does it think? So I'll take it out. 
10C1 plus 10C3 plus 10C5 plus 10C7 plus 10C9. Simplify this by calculator, you should be able to get 512. Another set of six plastic mugs, each of different design, different design, and three china mugs, each of different design. Find in how many ways these nine mugs can be arranged. Nine mugs can be arranged in a row if china mugs are all separated from each other. China mugs should be always all separated from each other. Three china mugs, so six plastic mugs. I have six plastic mugs. <coughs> and three china mugs. So first I will arrange six plastic mugs P1, P2, P3, P4, P5, P6. This can be done in how many ways? Six factorial ways. Now uh, china mugs should be separated. So china mugs have place for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There are seven places for this china mugs. But how many I have? I have only three of them. So what I can I do? I can do it out in 7, P, 3. I have to choose it out any three places out of this 7 places. So 7, 6 factorial times 7, P, 3. That's going to be giving you the answer. 151,200. Because there are 7 alternate places. China mark should not be together. and But we have only three china mugs so seven places can be filled in three place three mugs in 73 ways lastly another set of three identical this time identical red mugs four identical blue mugs seven identical yellow mugs there are total these 14 mugs are placed in a row find how many different arrangements of the colors are possible if the red mugs are kept together all the red mugs are kept together so three red four blue 7 yellow, 3 red, 3 red, so I add a page over here, it's getting added over here, Let me add it out over here itself only in that case. There may be a glitch over there. Very simple part. Doesn't require that much of space. Three red. Four blue, seven yellow. Four blue, seven yellow. So in total, 14. All red should be together. So totally 14 units. Minus three units plus all red 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 as one unit so totally how many units 12 units 12 units can be arranged in how many ways 12 factorial upon there are four identical blue four factorial seven identical yellow so seven factorial there may be a question that what about this red so this red three can be arranged among themselves in three factorial but they are identical divide by three factorial whenever they are identical we divide by them if not identical, no need to divide. In the previous case, you can see that there are different. I stressed on the word different. So I have not divided by any factorial. But in this case, it was identical. So therefore, I have to divide by the number of identical pieces. So that's going to be the answer as 3960. Last question. In a television quiz, show Peter answers questions one after another, stopping as soon as the question is answered wrongly. The probability of Peter gives the answer correct himself on any question is 0 0.7. Then the prob probability that Peter gives a wrong answer himself to any question is 0 0.1. And the probability that Peter decides to ask for the help for any question is 0 0.2. On the first occasion, Peter decides to ask for a help the audience. The probability that audience gives the correct answer is 0 0.95. So obviously, audience giving the wrong answer is 0 0.05. Show that the probability that the first question is answered is uh, correctly is 0 0.89. First one answered is correctly should be 0 0.89. How can he answer correctly first question 0 0.89? So he can directly answer himself correctly or he can take the help and the audience answers it correctly. So it should be either be 0 0.7 or 0 0.2 times 0 0.95. which should be giving you 0 0.89. 
on the second occasion that peter decides to ask for the help for the uh, for the help he phones a friend the probability that his friend gives the correct answer is to any question is 0.65 find the probability that the first two questions are answered both correctly so first two answers should be answered correctly so first of all what am i going to do i am going to redraw the tree diagram so this is correctly not correctly and he goes for a help which is 0 0.7 0 0.1 and 0 0.2 now what has been done first question has been answered correctly with the help of the audience audience help and he has got 0 0.95 now coming to the second question second question what has been done there are again three options right correctly not correctly and help so this answers were 0 0.7 0 0.1 and 0 0.2 now he takes a help of the audience and he gets 0 0.95 now what is the other way after the first question has been taken by the help of the audience then again he go for the second question it can be correctly not correct and a help so correctly is nothing but what we have just know we know that it is 0 0.7 0 0.1 and 0 0.2 now what has he done he has taken the help of a friend and its probability of being correct is 0 0.65 peter is correct is 0 0.65 so see on the second occasion peter decides to take as the help for he forms a friend he will be phoning a friend the probability that the friend gives the correct answer is 0 0.65 so that's going to be the tree diagram now what is he asked find the probability that the first two questions are both answered correctly first two questions are both answered correctly so one is what is that possibility 0 0.7 0 0.7 first question is answered correctly and the second question is also answered correctly or else what he can do he can go in this way also what is that way he correctly answers and take the help and then answers it out so first one was probability of c and c second one was probability of correct then help and an answer so which will be 0 0.7 times 0 0.2 times 0 0.95 you want to write this one in three decimals 0 0.49 this value is 0 0.133 now the third one is nothing but what uh, we can follow the track he does take a help and correctly answer the first one and directly answers on his own so probability of h a c so he has taken a help why he has taken a help so 0 0.2 times 0 0.95 times 0 0.7 so again it becomes 0 0.133 and the last one is nothing but what uh, maybe I use a different color it takes a help so he want to answer the second question correctly so what he can do it out he takes an help and an answer and he takes again the help and an answer <clears throat> so probability of H a maybe H P so which is 0 0.2 times 0 0.95 for the first time then again 0 0.2 times with the help of a friend 0 0.65 so 0 0.0247 so add them all so now both correct add them all 0 0.49 plus 0 0.133 plus 0 0.133 plus 0 0.0247 this should be giving you the answer 0 0.781 given that the first two questions were answered correctly given that so most important both are given that both correct whichever is given that that should go to the denominator so denominator should be 0 0.49 plus 0 
plus 0 0.133 plus 0 0.0247 after given that whatever is there that goes to the new denominator and what goes to the numerator whichever we are talking about what are we referring to find the probability that peter or uh, as the audience so which one peter has the audience he has the audience in 0 0.13 0 0.13 and 0 0.0247 so he asked except in the first case all the three other cases he asked so all those three numbers a part of the denominator goes to numerator remember write the denominator first a part of a denominator goes to the numerator so it goes to the numerator and over here ask for help which is audience so simplify by calculator you should be getting it out 0 0.372 that's going to be the answer for this question that completes the paper. See you in the next paper. Bye.